Hey, you guys, my name is Steve Hoffa. Thank you so much for tuning in. Retirement, we're all going to be there someday. These guys are almost there. I think they're doing a lot right. Carl Edwards, Bill Small, and his son Will Small. This is the Standing Still Podcast. 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 You know, a lot of people bust their ass on all these jobs. And, you know, we're union. We have great retirement. We have all that stuff. A lot of people don't get retirement. Right. You know, they put in what they, what you know, whatever they put in a year in which, uh, you know what? I mean, twenties. I'll. I'm not. I don't need to put anything in. And thirties. Ah, you know, I'll put a little in. And you know, then your forties. Like, oh, you know, I, I really can't afford to put anything in. You know, the kids are wanting to go to school. You know, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, you're in your fifties and you have no retirement. Right. I have no much bunch of people that way. Yeah. Right. And they're all looking at me like, I'm like, Dude, I have like great retirement. I, you know, the union puts it in for me. I don't do it. If I had to do it on my own, I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Right. I enjoy toys too much. Right. You know, and hookers. <laughs> yeah. you know? But, uh, but, yeah. but I mean, you know, the construction world, you know, a lot of people look down on it because you didn't go to school and you don't have that degree, but it pays bills. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, Who's I mean, laughing now? That's all I got yeah, to say. If, no, but if <laughs> you're a hard worker, on the bat. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I mean, you, you have to be intelligent. I mean, and, right. you know, and you have, you can't, you can't just, I went to high school and I'm, I never have to go. And I tell my kids that all the time. I says, look, you're going back to school, period, for something. Whether it's a trade school, you're not just going to get out of school and go to work mm -hmm. and not, not eventually figure out that, guess what? I'm getting passed behind. I, I got a job. Yeah, I was making 12 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour. Oh, bitching, I'm making 20 bucks an hour, 25. Okay, guess what? That's the peak, dude. You're not going to make any more at this company than 25 bucks an hour. Right. But you're like, well, my buddy Steven, you know, he he started off, I was making way more than him, and then he's blew right by me. And mm -hmm. my son has no retirement, so he's working at a company that, you know, he doesn't get retirement. It's a good company. He's you know, he's doing good, and they've got a 401k now. But like I'm asking him, you know, are you contributing into it? Oh, well, not yet, you know. But it, it's – you got to look at the big picture, guys. Right. You're going to get old like me. The end game. And, right. Like, I was the same way. I'm never getting old, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm still younger than most of you kids. <laughs> trust me. <laughs> but it, it, the end game is that, like I say, like Bill's saying is, you know – in 10 years, you know what? They're going to send me a check every single week to stay home and not do nothing. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of people don't have that luxury. You know, you, you, you see these people working late into their 70s and stuff like that because they have to. Right. They drop dead. They don't even get a chance to. Right. Yeah, I feel there's a lot of even 65-year-old guys that are working in construction, and they're just journeymen. They don't, you know what I mean? They're not, like. They can't really carry anything, and you see them struggling, and you feel bad because you don't want to be the guy that's like, I can do that. You don't want to run circles around them, even though you can as a young buck, <laughs> but you feel bad, you know what I mean? Because you, you see the writings on the wall. You're like, 65, I don't want to be pulling wire. You know what I mean? I do not want to be doing that. Well, Look, it's, it's I'm still crunching the numbers on the Standing Still podcast uh, retirement. <laughs> it's not out yet. I'm going to contribute within the next couple months. Just need some form of income first. It, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, any form of income. <laughs> it's funny because as I get older, I I look back at like because I see the younger guys now. They kind of live in the moment, right? And they're going out and doing things. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should have done that. That looked like it would have been fun. Mm -hmm. But then I think, well, what are they going to do when it get when they get older? You know, what what's going to happen? Or uh, it's it's not going to be there for them like they think it is. Right. So I'm like. Yeah, I probably mortgaged the front part of my life, but I'm banking on the tail end of it. Right. Is what I'm looking at. I, I, you know, not to say, you know, who's to say which way is right or wrong. Mm -hmm. But I mean, a lot of the guys now they're happier. They do things and they're whatever. And I, it, I don't know about Carl, but I just seemed like when I was younger, I was intense. I was more pissed off all the time. You were just, it was go 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 driven. You know. Right. You, and these guys now are more laid back. It's it's a little different. Which there's a lack of. There was more. How do I put it? It was more. 
Well, for, there was no political correctness, so that aggression was not frowned upon. You know what I mean? You still it get it. It was a standard, yeah. Right. You know, in like even like Bill's talking about is, you know, he's banking on the latter part of his life, you know, and, and trying to do all these fun things, and he's set up for it. And then there's speed bumps. You know, we don't want to talk right. about, you know, kids having babies and, <laughs> right. you know, moving back home. We and, don't want to talk about that. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to talk about it. You know, but I'm just, but yeah, let's like, go with like, speed bumps. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it a Large speed bump, bump. you know. <laughs> We're like, uh, I, I'm like, what? Yeah, things Just, happen. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but you know, like I say, you you gotta, you guys gotta enjoy life, you know, and you, you but you gotta prepare for it, you know. When mm-hmm. I was, we'd go to union meetings, and you know, I was an apprentice, and you know, first journeyman out, you know, and they'd be talking about, oh, you're getting a seventy-five cent raise or a dollar raise, you know, and, right? And then the old timers would be like, oh, hey. 65 on the pension, you know, put in the pension. And the guys are like, no, we want all of it on the check. Yeah. Right. Like, you yeah. know, and luckily, you know, the older guys were like, look, you know, I'm getting ready to retire. I need this money. Right. I'm going to need this money. And if, luckily, if it wasn't for those guys thinking, you know, long term, because they were already older. Yeah. If, you know, if you gave that vote to all the 25 year olds in the room. Every single one of them will go 100 percent on the check. Right. Yeah. You Instead know. Of, yeah, you'd be making seventy dollars an hour right. with no benefits. Yeah, you yeah. with no retirement, no nothing, right. and then right. you know, like you say, we'll get a check for, I don't know, when I retire, I don't know what it'd be, but four or five thousand a month. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. just sit home and do nothing. Right. You know, so, based so on my merits that I had in the past. Right. You know, and like I have a four hundred one. That I contributed hourly myself because mm-hmm. I w- want to live the lifestyle I lived my whole life. Right. So I put money away to to help when I get older. That I don't have to be restricted to. The, right. I still want to be able to travel and do whatever I want, spoil my grandkids. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. Yeah, there's the benefit of uh, you or I mean yourself or others making mistakes. The the benefit of that is being able to learn, right? And so I've, I've seen that in the fact that, like my parents retired early, dude. They're they're fifty three and they're retired. I love I love the idea of not having to work. You know what I mean? That is <laughs> we all do, <laughs> right? Yeah. However, I love I love the idea of not having. Should I say it? The joke is not having to work, but I love the idea of not having to go to work. The idea of being able to the, the freedom to choose what you want to do every right. day. Right. Yeah. Do not have to chase the choose dog. Choose to do what you want to do you and not be told what you have to do. Right. And just the the fact it's that you boring have, not working. Trust see, me. I know. There, it's boring doing Call nothing. Call your mom, she'll tell you. Hi yeah. Lisa. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually pretty busy now, but what? there's um w- my point was like my dad's shoulder and his back and everything like that, and he's only fifty three. You know what I mean? And that goes back to the guy that's sixty five still working. It's you get to a point. My grandfather, who just passed away a few months ago, but his goal he hated his job, but he worked it for thirty years. He's one of those guys that is that old school of like, well, I hate it, but I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna work hard. You know what I mean? And he did for thirty years. His goal was to. Be retired for as long as he worked. He worked for 30 years, and about two months over, I think is what it was, or within a few weeks, he was retired a little bit more than he worked for his whole life, right? So I really respect that. And the point of all this is just to learn from their mistakes, right? Because I'm sure there's mistakes. That's one of the things I love hearing, the, the perspective that you guys bring, that just this podcast is a tool to build perspective, right? So.